Hey guys, welcome to part 2 of uh, how to make a basic web page by PS3Land. Um, as you can see, I've added uh, two more things since uh, the first one. I've added a, a link to my YouTube channel, um, which is basically the same as the link I've done to my website, except you just replace the backsup.tk um, with the YouTube and username. I also added a second video, uh, and if I just put them both side by side, that was the top one, I just done the exact same thing, but if you click file and save, and refresh, they end up side by side. So what you can do to fix that, is just open it up, and at the end of the top one, just press the enter key, and then type in BR, the break tag, and then file and save that. Now when you refresh it, there will be one top of the other and it looks much uh, better. The second uh, video, by the way, was how to adjust uh, screen brightness, so be sure to check that out, guys. Um, then, you know, to actually put it on the website, uh, put it online, you want to um, go to this website, 000webhost.com, and uh, I've already I made an account, it's really, really quick, you just click sign up at the right hand side, and then it, um, you just type in your... Um, just type in your, uh, your email address and make a password um, and then where it says uh, it'll come up that it's it's building your website and um, where it says .netty.net just type in the name, so I'm going to call mine ps3land.netty.net um, you'll see it as soon as it comes up, it's in the middle of the screen around here when you're signing in, it'll just uh, um, yeah, you have to make sure you click on the one that says .netty.net, otherwise um, you be, you'll have to pay for a normal domain, that's a subdomain. Alright, so what you want to do is click uh, enter control panel and then click on and then you can click on, uh, this is your actual website here, so if you click on this it'll open up a, a default PHP, now this is your actual um, this is your actual website template um, th this is where your website is going to be, it's going to be ps3land.net.com you just call it whatever you like, uh, make up a name uh, okay, so what you want to do now is head over to this website, which is do we, well, do we type it in um, FileZilla Client. So it's uh, FileZillaProject.org, uh, .org, and uh, download it for whatever platform you like. Now make sure you download the client. Don't download the server. Uh, you won't need that. So click on download client and then click for whatever system you're using, if you're Windows 32 bit or higher, uh, just either one M. Uh, Linux, Mac OS X do it as well. Okay, so after you have that downloaded, uh, to put your website actually online, uh, you'll get your FileZilla client here. So you just open that up and um, you just type in all this information that you get from uh, the website um, 000 web host that they give you. All right. So the host is your the website you're using. So it's um, so uh, you want to just copy this, uh, and you can't right click and go down to copy. It doesn't normally work. It does sometimes, but it very rarely does. So for host, just click that and paste that in there. Now, next thing you want to do is for a username. If your username is this code here, so you grab that, you copy that, and you paste it in there. And for your password, just type in the password you made when using webhost.com. So, my password. So, just type in your password, and then for the port, um, it's best to keep it at 21. Uh, it's only a good save, so just keep that port 21, just type that in yourself. Now click on uh, Quick Connect, and it should bring you up all these um, little things. So where it says, uh, this says do not upload here, so you don't, you, you double click on public.html and open it up, and um, just delete both of them. So it's uh, delete both of them, let's click yes. And now what you want to do is, um, we'll close it down, Let's put that over there. Now where your web page is, my web page, the folder we made to start, just drag that into, um, drag that in there, and that'll upload itself into public.html. 
Now, um, when you go on to the web, when you visit the website, um, it'll be this. So you just copy that and paste it in there. Uh, keep w to a dot before. And now it'll bring you to the index of page. Now you don't want this index of, because that's basically just showing that there's more than one folder. But it's showing you that there's a folder, so to get rid of that, you just um, open up Fossil again. And just, just uh, close out that for a second. Uh, just click on that and click delete, and then click yes. Now, don't click on that, and just drag in the index on its own, don't leave the folder out of it. So drag that in there, and then that should be successful. So you exit out of that. Now visit the website again to refresh that, it should bring you straight to the website. Now uh, some people don't like that big name, uh, ps3on.netty.net, I'm going to show you how to change that. So head on over to this website which is um, .tk. Um, and this is just a uh, thing, uh, this is just like um, a shorter domain, so instead of having it as a uh, ps3land.net.net, it'll be ps3land.tk. So I'll change that. Right, so head on back to your number one and just copy the URL and uh, paste it in the one where it says shorten a long web address. So just paste it in there and click go. Uh, now, so where it says here, just uh, get rid of that and type in ps3land.tk and then um, you can like just bring it to 12 months, whatever you like. So just enter in that, um, tgb and then click um, sign up and now um, you have your .tk account uh, sometimes it's, it's kind of looking to draw really with this sometimes um, you can just type in um, ps3land.tk and it'll bring you to um, ps3on.tk so there's that, that's how you do it. Uh, it normally takes a few minutes um, to actually go through sometimes um, if uh, sometimes after you do it you have to wait kind of five or ten minutes for it to actually work properly but um, it, it comes up as it's still ps3land.netty.net but ps3land.netty.net is still there so um, it's still going to be the exact same page there. Um, and it'll also work as uh, ps3on.tk. Alright, guys, thanks for watching my tutorial. Please um, comment, rate, and subscribe uh, to my channel. If this video has helped you in any way, it, it does help if you subscribe um, to my YouTube channel. Um, okay, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for more videos.